Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> it feels odd to hold a, a switch controller since I was holding the, the Wii U one just before. Um, you see the analog sticks being together, but anyway. Um, where am I right now? I did a lot of backtracking last time, so. Okay. I mean, let's take the elevator and get out of here, because this isn't where I'm supposed to be. I believe I'm supposed to be still in the ice area. But yeah, uh, as always, hope you are enjoying the playthrough if you're watching this later. But admittedly, I'm probably not doing things as quick as some of you might like, but it is my first time playing it. No speedrun tactics here. I'll point out as well, I guess at the start of the VOD is... I've seen the comment a few times, <laughs> use the charge beam, and like, I know the charge beam exists, I'm well aware of it, it's just, because I want to pay attention to the sound of an upgrade being near, that's why I don't use the charge beam, because there's sound overlap, I find, and sometimes I won't hear there's an upgrade nearby. Okay, where am I? I'm in Chozo Ruins, aren't I? I did kind of look at a VOD, a past VOD anyway, of where this room I was looking for is. It's, it's this room here. That's the room I'm looking for. So I need to go high ground and then... Okay, got it. Because if I remember correctly, that had a spider ball track. Ugh. So it is this one and then straight ahead. Okay. Can't believe I somehow managed to not get through that room, but anyway. Straight ahead and then left. This is the room I was looking for. That's not rude at all.
Did I just not? I guess it regenerates. That's weird. Anyway. This is what I was looking for. <laughs> was that worth the time I spent looking yesterday? Or well, not yesterday, last time? I don't know. Anyway. I think that's it. Alright. Now I can go back to the snow area. Because I believe that's where I need to go. Yeah, look. <laughs> Can't be bothered waiting. take the opportunity to save since I got that and then I want it to be undone I thought that was something I could go into. I mean... Eventually, I'll have the map learned. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been neglecting this because of Twilight Princess. <laughs> I wanted to get Twilight Princess done because it was it's the longest game before Breath of the Wild, so that's done now, so I can split the time again. I like that the music in this area has gotten a little more serious. I need to get back to the room where I fought 
farther soon or near it. The steam is so good. <laughs> I don't know why. It just seems so epic. I can take the other route now to get back there though, which is nice. I don't have to do what I've been doing this whole time. Did I miss the room? I may have missed the room. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Elevator. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I did. This is the way to get to the upper area, which I don't want. Yeah, I, I'm gonna take the L. <laughs> there we go. through here. There we go. What? I docked. Love these lava clams. Not what I was expecting from this area. room. Uh. This room sucks. And the fact that they still keep coming back. Did 
this machine is functional, but it's not receiving power. Door sealed. I mean, yeah, here lies the problem. There's just looking lava, lava, lava. It's all lava. Oh, apparently I haven't gone through here. Super missile didn't do anything. Safe point here. I'm, I will save because it's taken a while to get here. Another spider ball track. No oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, uh, that's my bad. A for load screens. Maybe I can't go through. I thought this was the way forward. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. I just thought that this was the door, but... Okay. Well, the only other thing is just that previous room. <laughs> so much for that. I'm going to laugh if this is like a colossal waste of time being in this area, but I mean, these are the two leads that I remember. Oh, yes. Reset the room again.
Interesting. Um, hang on. No? What is this? Switches. There's a switch there. Okay, hang on. But, I mean... Isn't that usually just... Hang on. I thought it's just usually the wave beam. Oh no, there we go. It's this. Did that power it? It did. The machine machine is functional. What? Oh, there's another one here. Okay. Still not receiving power. West channel door sealed. North channel door sealed. What am I doing wrong? The wave beam is just the purple shot, so... Hmm. Hmm. I tried firing a... Oh, maybe I need to just... Let's just try this, maybe... It's gonna be something simple and I'm gonna hate the answer. Wait, there's another one over here. Psst, okay. Yeah, don't give up. The uh the music got tense. is now operating at full capacity. There's still something behind this door.
I think that's all I need to do is just go down that way. All right. The other paths aren't available to me yet. Access to Ace Channel door granted. Lava within channel has been cooled. Okay. Gotta hurry. And I assume this is on another timer. That's it. It's over. Time is gone. So I does nothing else to this. <laughs> okay. Just double check. Doesn't seem like there was anything else here. Okay. Um. I guess I'll just go back. Cause that top tunnel doesn't do anything. I guess this wasn't a total waste. Just a sack. The map hasn't highlighted anything yet. So, hmm. I'll go back. Wait, 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 what was that? I saw a question mark. What was the question mark? I don't know. I, I think <laughs> I just I miss the two D map so much. It's so easier to discern it. Wait, what is that? Ruins entrance. I saw a question mark, I just... It caught... There. What the heck is... Okay, so we're going to the Chozo Ruins. It's sort of off to the side. Um... 
Where is this referring to? Hold on. Monitor station. Triclops pit. What's what's the closest room? We want to go Chozo Ruins and then here. Okay, this is the one. So... Okay, it's off to the side. So we... Energy Core, Burn Dome. I guess we want to head to the Energy Core. Okay. That seems to be the closest area, so... I would assume there's an interconnecting tunnel. I mean, this wasn't a waste, like, I got health, so... I mean, that's good. <laughs> I guess that's the other thing. <gasps> oh! <laughs> that sound effect I just made. <laughs> Something just clicked. Uh, last time there was... There was a spot where I swear I heard the sound of an upgrade. Yeah, okay. But, like... I swear I heard the sound of an upgrade and I couldn't figure out where. The, the thermal visor would reveal it. Oh, but well, I think I might. I think I might go back. What room was it though? It's definitely in this area. I think it's one of these large rooms. Alright, I'm gonna do it since we're in the area. Look, especially since that is the way that we just got this one. Aha! Uh -huh. This is me being impatient. I can't believe that didn't click. Also, hold on. Too much heat here. Excuse me. Sir, you're in the way. This room here, I believe. I can hear it. 
Okay, let's look. Well, it's not really providing much clarity. I can hear it. This one's driving me nuts because I swear it's here. But this isn't revealing anything. I thought maybe in the rock or something there was a spot, but... No clue. I did try, but it's just not working. Alright, let's leave. I'm convinced for the time being. No, I need to go the other way, this way. Hey, Gammy, what's up? How's it going? How's things? Don't shoot me, thank you, bye. Oh no, see, I can definitely see that, look. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Probably other, it's probably something else. Lovely cold night in Sydney. Nice. Yeah, it's cooled down a bit. Had one hot day this week here. There we go. Just getting used to being back to a long week again. Ah. Ah, always, always. I'm impatient with that. Excuse me. Was I doing short weeks? No, it's just Labor Day. Labor Day. It's starting to get to the point where the public holidays are going to get further apart until they're non existent <laughs> for like three months. We need more holidays. Well, I mean, if they're talking about moving Australia Day, I, I think we should move it into that period between June and September where there's just nothing. Some companies this year have uh, allowed employees to move the day themselves if they want to. 
So, I mean, I think it's going to happen eventually. times I've like gone we should have two Australia days why just to get two public holidays Well, I mean, I live in Victoria, so if there's anyone who's going to come up with uh, extra public holidays, it's us. I mean, shit, we have a day off for a horse race already and a football game. Okay, what's the quickest way to get to this? The atrium. It's through high ground. Okay. I think I would be doing. I wouldn't get be getting lost as much if it was a 2D map. I'm not kidding. But I get that, like, some things are harder to represent from a 2D perspective. Because obviously there are some rooms that stack directly on top of one another, but still. That's how you have floors and levels. Uh, then left, right, hang on. Ugh, it's just clunky to move this. Okay, straight, straight ahead. Just, just straight ahead, just constantly straight ahead. All right, let's go. Uh, there's a safe room in here. Use that as a chance to do this. When I, whenever I watch speedruns of any Metroid game, I'm always impressed just by how quickly they can get through content. Okay, so we need to go up and to the right. Particularly the, the 2D ones in the escape sequences. I had a I had a friend that was really good at them. Um so Hey Laura, how's Zelda going? Ah, oh, it's good. I'm about to found an hourglass, so Twilight Princess is done. Dude, please. Is this the right connector tunnel? Yes, okay. I think I need to make better use of the the thermal. Yeah, so this I think I just need to solve this room. So did I like Twilight? I liked it. I mean it wasn't my first time playing it. 
That's my favorite 3D one in the traditional sense. Is this spider? Okay, I thought maybe that would be spider ball. Okay, thermal on. What are we missing here? Excuse me, did I almost make that jump? As dumb as that felt. Okay. Machine isn't active. next to me, but I can't get to it from here. What is this? Hang on. That might be what I'm looking for. Ugh, damn it. Device should operate once power has been restored. Okay. Where's the thermal line? There's power. It's here. Water has shorted out the mechanism. It is inoperable. You're watching Kitchen Nightmares and put subtitles on to see if he writes his swearing. Oh, like the words he says? Probably not. This just goes back the way I came, but I need to... How the heck did I get over there? I, maybe I haven't. Maybe it's just one interconnected room. Oh. There we go. Where is this going, though? Okay, this is going to the burn dome.
Mach das ist ein Pink Kerl. I mean, look at look at this. It has to it has to be connected from here. Because that I I don't think it's accessible. This is a literal room of lava. I can't see anywhere else this would be connected from. Did I just not do this? Okay. All right. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a time thing. That's why. That's why. No, I probably did it. I just did it wrong. I know, I know. That's it. It's done. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. This is the progress. Is that the sound effect I'm hearing? Okay, hold on. Or it might just be that. Hmm, but I don't I don't see anything in the walls that would indicate that there's an upgrade hidden. Alright, let's just assume there isn't. Ah, oh, look at these. Definitely hear the sound effect. Okay, where is it?
Hang on. There's a spotable track. Where is that coming from? Uh, these are new creatures, aren't they? Yeah. Where's, where's the entrance to this? It would have to be here. Because look at where it's going into. It's going into this thing. I could pull off like a move like that. Hmm. This power cable's going through here. Hang on, let's just see. Uh, the music is becoming... Okay, I don't want... I don't think I should go through here just yet. Hold on. There has to be an answer to this in here. Oh. It's kind of hard to tell. There's definitely a spiderable track, but I guess it depends how you get to it. I don't think I... Maybe this isn't something I can do yet. Um, there was a lower path in the previous room, but let's just leave it. This device has been previously used. It shut itself off. See it, there's a track there. Oh, this music. No? I thought that would have been it. It's, it's up there, you can see it. So what gives? What, what is this? Hmm, okay. I guess there's no way to get it just yet. Alright.
Something behind the wall seems to have been activated. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but like, did it do it the entirety of it? Okay. Interesting. Might be more to do. Why is it being weird? There we go. Just making sure I, I've got on this. Only the holder of 12 shall face the worm. I didn't know those were clues. I've seen those around the place. Only the holder of 12 shall face the worm. The great poison crops all, even the Chozo. Oh. Identified statue as Chosa Elder. Wait a minute, I think these things had immunity to electricity. Yeah. Got to go classic. There we go. What am I about to get? Doors unlocked. Nothing? Identified as Chosa Elder. Oh, I thought this was gonna be like the classic. I mean, maybe it is. I oh, know it is. Okay, there we go. We. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Okay, I'm ready this time. There we go. Interesting. Can I even get up there? Or... Well, I guess... Hang on. Field covering a slot erratic NG wavelength. Okay, hang on. Uh, so that would mean I can't do that because... Hmm. I 
if I'm not wrong. Wait, what's the M? There's an M over there. What's what's that? Map? Oh no, missile refill station. I might be able to get across... Oh no, there we go. That's not complicated at all. path has been opened. Oh, there's law here. Recording to logbook. The Elder's greatest power lies beyond the second lock. Bowling! I'm gonna go through this now. There we go. Drainage shutoff is holding, maintaining the water level of the reflecting pool at 95%. Stone Toad preys on creatures more than itself, vulnerable only from within. Fracture detected in Tolerick Alloy Drain Cut Bar. What will it be of the fish, though? Are they going to die? Okay. Drain cover destroyed. Pool is free of fluids. Doesn't look like I can go further up. They're white doors, so... It's probably drained somewhere below. I mean, I, I would guess. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I just realized what this is. I gotta get used to these stupid half... <laughs> I don't play skating games. Half pipe. There we go. Okay. Oh, 
Forza. Excellent. Okay, uh, can I just leap across this? I think I can. Ice beam? Yep. Yay, we can open the white doors. Alright, sweet. Okay, well now I know where I can go next. Careful not to overdo it. Access to talent overworld. Okay, we don't want to go through here. Access a talent overworld south, granted. Um, we don't want to go through here just yet. Not yet. Because the previous room had a white door. Also said the greatest weapon is beyond this path, so... Should probably look. Okay, first things first. Do I have to fight this again? Okay, normal blasters. This just got a lot more serious. <laughs> down. Two down. Before I do this room, okay, which is the way back? No, this is a way. F Wait, is it a way forward? Hang on. Yeah, no, that's a way forward.
I think both of these are ways forward. What was the room that I came from? I think it's up on high ground. Hang on. Ah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Okay. There's one thing I didn't try. Not that. There has to be a way up here. Oh, this is closed off again. Okay, hang on. I think I see. I think there's multiple switches, I just need to find them. See this thermal. Has to be a way to solve this. Oh, you know what? It probably is. Depends how high this can go. Jeez. Okay. That is... Yep. <laughs> That's using the old brain. Okay. And then just repeat again. Alright. Thankfully, it, it kind of just snaps in there, so... Okay, and now, there we go. An elevator. Why would there be a right side? Okay, leave it be. At any rate, this is what I wanted to backtrack to as well. Oh. Okay, so this just leads here. Again? Are you kidding? Do I just have to fight this every time I come in here?
it's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Inside the wall, I know this was a hundred percent worth doing. Excellent. Okay. All that remains is the red path, which I don't have yet. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going through this one. Again? Are you kidding me? Ice works. Okay. Let me look at the map for a sec. Yeah, I don't think going through here is the right call. I guess now we have a choice between... Okay. I mean... <sighs> there has to be an answer to this somewhere. Magnetic ray. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Hmm. Is there maybe a half pipe? The only thing I, th I could think of is like being in midair and turning into a ball and then latching, but I don't. I think that's too much of a maneuver. 
So it's up there. I think there's another way around. So I guess let's just go have a second look. Please, no fight again. I think I can just ignore them, surely. Nope, it seals the room. This is obnoxious. more annoying than threatening. <laughs> okay. Going back up this way, because there was that other lower path. Safety shield offline. Caution near window. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I can just come back here now easily. Shh. No, no, no data received. The ice area, all right. go or down <sighs> where is here they both link to Talon
That's uh, one crazy spider ball track. Strong enough. Okay. This is going to be a case of not strong enough yet. Wait, was that it? No, there's more. Yeah. Or not. There's a lower area. Doesn't look like I can squeeze in the gap, so... Yes, we're done here for now. That was a waste of an elevator, right? This way. I mean, eh, there was an area that it did bother me. It was when I rolled into a ball and there was a lower area versus an upper area, but I get the feeling that maybe that part is just, hmm. No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it too much if I don't look. <laughs> That's gonna bother me. I bet it's just if you fall down and don't make it. Did I find my missing heart? I did. I finished Twilight Princess, it's fine. I just looked back at an old VOD and I was like, yep, there it is. It was when I played early morning. 
So, that's just the result of having... I mean, I, I slept alright, it's just, I do, I'm not a morning person. Do I really have to do this again? Surely not. Okay, I think we're okay. I know there's something here, but I don't know how to get it, so. Yeah, see, this is the room, so. Okay, hold on. Oh, I am so glad I backtracked. Holy crap. All right. Excellent. This is inside the reactor. Okay, this is worth it. Hacks? No, this was using my gut instinct. I was about to walk away from this area. Because I was like, uh, I mean, I went here originally. And I was like, oh, there's a lower path. I bet that's just if you mess this up. Hey, it's been working today. It hasn't always been working. Like, I kind of... Went in circles quite a bit last time, so... It's good to see that today it, it seems to be... Intuition is working. Oh, not this shit again. That was the last time you'll have to see it for a while. I don't know why we have to repeat this fight, just leave the thing active. Because Metroid, I, I don't know, not all Metroids ha have you repeating. On the topic of uh, the, just the name drop of the title. Um, so, you know, Nintendo has the Nintendo Rewards thing where you can use the points you earn to kind of get merchandise. And Nintendo Australia has just always been sad in that regard because they don't really offer what... Uh, other countries offer in terms of rewards. So, you know, Nintendo of America, you can get a like a, a poster for this game, and then Nintendo of Europe announced three a, a bundle that gives you three classic posters. So it was for Super Mario Land, Metroid 2, and Link's Awakening, and they look really good. Nintendo of Australia, eh, nothing. I can get a, I can get a fridge magnet, uh, some stickers, uh, a pencil case. Not, not some really cool retro posters. Kind of a note that NOA only supports USA and not North or South America. So wait, they don't cover Canada? Really? Huh. That That is surprising to hear. I would have thought Canada is just lumped in together. Annoying as fuck, I bet. But I mean, yeah, Nintendo of Australia just... They kind of dropped the ball quite a bit. Particularly when it comes to, like, limited editions and pre-orders. So our Breath of the Wild Deluxe Edition had several items missing from it compared to the American one. 
Wait, Canada isn't part of America. <laughs> Says the British person. Like, what do you mean? Canada is part of the glorious Commonwealth. You know, that, that union of countries that totally has a benefit to being part of it. Beyond, uh, like, I don't know, something that would have mattered in World War II. Here's a little tidbit, chat. Um, I remember reading, and look this up to verify, but I remember reading that it was revealed <laughs> that in World War II, um, the UK was going to give up Australia when the Japanese invaded. And the only reason that didn't happen was because, um, because of the whole Pearl Harbor thing and America wanting to be in the Pacific. So using Australia as a base made sense. So, uh, yeah. Wait, what the heck? As a Canadian, you would very much like the monarchy gone. Oh, no, yeah, like, Australia's kind of in the same deal, I think. The only people that are monarchists are pretty much uh, boomers. And even then, it's 50-50. It's Like, there's, there's no real reason for a monarchy. That's my opinion. Especially for Australia, like, it, it just doesn't make sense. It's gonna be harder for, uh, the UK to kinda not have one anymore. But I think for the rest of the Commonwealth nations, I'd expect that all it's going to take is one country to declare independence to start the snowball. And I think that's what's, what everyone is waiting on, is so one of the countries of the Commonwealth to do it. And then just watch. You don't really have a problem with the status quo because the monarchy hasn't done shit other than give who? Oh, I assume that's a politician, so yeah, okay. I don't know. Anyway. That's what I, I believe is like... It's going... It's going to... It's going to take a while, but once... Barbados already voted to leave in Jamaica. Yeah, but I'm talking about like one of the... Jamaica might be a more significant one. I'm talking about, like, one of two things happening. Either countries leaving the UK, or, like, say, Canada or Australia doing it. I think if Australia does it, Canada will do it, and vice versa. I mean, here's a sign that we're kind of leading to it already. We're not changing our money. In fact, the new money we're getting is not including anyone from the royal family on it. It's all Australians. So, that's kind of a sign of things to come. What is this? Oh, bleh, turrets! Uh, huh. Am I being an idiot here? Okay, Russian. Okay, no, the, the ice beam, excellent. Did 
this door has no power. Okay. Or we find the source of its power up there. Okay. Is that it? Yep, there we go. This area is really eerie. I think the only way that they can stop, um, well, maybe not stop, but kind of bring it to, and they should have done this a long time ago. There's always been talk about it, but just have pretty much what the EU has, which is free travel between members of, uh, the EU. If they had that between Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, at the very least, like, that would give those countries incentive not to leave the Commonwealth. Because then it kind of makes sense. Then that would make things easier to work in either of those countries. And I don't know. It's kind of surprising that they haven't done that. I mean, I would love for that to happen. Not really, not really needing much to go to any of those countries would be great. Uh-oh. Well, I just goofed. <laughs> That'd be awesome. You'd love to visit the UK and Australia if you could get power armor. You know, you joke about that, but you're aware of Ned Kelly, right? You've heard of Ned Kelly. I hope. No. He is, um, yeah, a dude that made a literal suit of, uh, armor. He's Australia's Iron Man. I mean, a, cr a criminal, but, you know. Look him up. <laughs> um, I'm sure, I'm sure if Ned Kelly existed in this day and age, it would have been a powered armor. This music's nice. Door has no power, okay. Where is your power unit? There. This music would be great to fall asleep to, relaxing. The soundtrack to the Prime games are really good. I mean, even though I, ha I hadn't played most of them. Like, I only played three. Um... I had heard their soundtracks quite a bit. I particularly like, uh, Echoes. Like, Torvus Bog, man, that's, that's such a good, good theme.
Apparently I didn't have that one recorded yet. Open up. Ugh, what a dick. Now I have to climb the whole thing again. That's what I was trying to avoid, but unfortunately, yeah. Well. I also forgot to say hi to Smith. Sorry, Smith. <laughs> sometimes, ugh, dude, when I have a long day, sometimes I'll just respond to people and then not say hey. It's such a bad habit. I'm usually pretty good with it. It's just... Well, bleh. Ah. I'm gonna violently throw up if I fall down again. Ah. <laughs> Such a contrast to the, uh... The relaxing music, just the sounds of agony as I keep falling. I, I can already guess what I'm getting here, like... This is a classic... ...theme. For Metro games is like underwater area. Okay, we're getting the gravity suit. I always like getting the suits because that usually indicates like a change of color. Nope, that's not gonna work. say. No! <laughs> Samus, please. Samus, please. No! Fuck! <laughs> okay, not that bad, not that bad. It's okay, chat. They've changed the rules of YouTube again, so it's like... You won't get punished if you swear now. At least, not that much. I can drop a couple F-bombs. Just as long as it's, it doesn't sound like it's a rant. Because, surprise, surprise, it was an unpopular thing! <laughs> I'm gonna have a connection. <laughs> Listen to the sounds of the water. Relaxing. Calming. Listen to the serenity of the underwater area. What the f- Can I climb up here? Okay, there we go. But surely this is where I just came from, right?
Maybe not. No, this is where I came from. Hmm. It's going to cause all those things to respawn, isn't it? So I believe I can't go any further unless I have... ...the G-suit. This is, uh, yep. What fun. Okay, where's this door? the door that I'm going for. But see, there's no way to get across. I, I think I just fell down there and it was just chance, but... Maybe I don't need to be in here. Hmm. Underwater area. Let me see, is there anything that I'm missing here? Oh, hang on. It looks like it goes further down. over there. Aha! Okay, where is this leading? Oh, there's more. Okay. That should be it. I think I think it has power now. Okay, that's why it didn't open. It was three. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anything about electrical engineering, but the things have three separate power sources like that. Is anyone an electrical engineer? <laughs> Split up like that as well. That's the other thing. Sometimes you never know, chat. Sometimes you do get experts in a chat. And Twitch becomes like a source of information. Sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time. It is rare, but it does happen. Shh. 
data received. You are taking too long. Streamer, head in that direction. I'm trying to. It's over there, okay. So I need to... How did I... How did I get over there? I think I must have dropped from a high point. That's it over there, right? Yeah. Okay, so... No, it doesn't... What? Oh, okay. What do you mean the door has no power? It should have power. Is there one more point? Oh, crap. There's one more point somewhere. Really dodgy. I mean, I swear that that should be on, so... Where is this last point? According to that, it's, it's there. Okay. Jumping! There we go. Dude! So happy they didn't change any of the music. They would not have been able to get away with that. They did such a thing. That would be like an atrocity to some people. I'm still very sad about the game, the GameCube era, you know? 
It's an era that I would have liked to experience, but when it came down to it, the reason I didn't get one was simply because no DVD drive, but that was it. You know, historically, any company that has gone with proprietary media just doesn't, doesn't succeed. I mean, think about it. Nintendo with their mini disc, Sony twice with UMD and their, their memory card for their portable. I think the Switch is probably the first time, and but that's, that's not real, like the Switch is the Switch, you know? People bought into that because it's just, it's a good way to play games, but I think if that wasn't a thing, it would have been the same struggle, like it's it just, historically it just doesn't work. Because that's what companies do when they come up with a proprietary media, they just charge an arm for a leg for it because it's like a monopoly. But... I mean, the GameCube era had so many good... Those little discs on the GameCube had a lot of successful games. No, they were successful, but... I mean, relative to... How, how well Nintendo was doing in, say, the Super Nintendo era, or even afterwards in the Wii era, they, they didn't sell that much. Like, it wasn't Nintendo at its peak. They were doing okay. They weren't doing badly, but they weren't doing amazingly either. And when you look at how well the PS2 sold, compare, and the Xbox, compared to the GameCube, I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that the PS2 and the Xbox were versatile. And people were kind of getting into, uh, like, you know, media center type setups. Like having the console consume content. I mean, wasn't Reggie surprised, like, with people wanting the GameCube for Virtual Console back in the day? And was, like, saying, oh, now you want, g <laughs> like, didn't say it in these words, but kind of hinted, oh, now you want GameCube games? <laughs> Progress hindered by liquid environment. Power suit augmentation required to advance. Yeah, I know this. Am I just not in the right place? I see I'm in the talent overworld, I should be here. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I guess I got this as far as I can. You always thought of it like this. The real war was between Sony and Microsoft to slide Nintendo to slide under the radar. Even today, the Switch can't match the PS5 or the Xbox because it doesn't have to. No, I mean, yeah, that is right. It's not really sliding under the radar. It's just... Nintendo have always done something. Like, from the GameCube, Game Boy era, sorry. Like, it's doing something that's outside of the norm. And might be lower powered, but like, it's just one of those things that's just designed so well that it works for them. But I think in that era specifically for the home console thing, it was it was at a point in time where Okay. Because it didn't really have anything that fundamentally changed the way you played games. I guess that was the thing. So it, it was effectively a game box console. Like, Nintendo will do game box consoles every now and then.
the real wars between Nintendo and Sega. Dude, I, I'm, I'm convinced that if Nintendo did not, like, go back on the Sony thing, where they were making a CD drive and they had stuck with it, Sony probably would have never made the PlayStation, and uh, Sega would probably still be making consoles today. I think that's... It's, it's one of those things where, like, Nintendo effectively created their biggest competitor, and then, you know, there's only room for so many uh, big players, and Sega kind of dropped the ball with the Saturn. Well, in that era... The Dreamcast was a good console, but at that point, the damage had been done. <laughs> you know, at some point, there's going to be a chat member that's going to be like, Wait, Sega used to make consoles? <laughs> ah! It's gonna be soon, like... Someone is going to be surprised that Sega made... ...games beyond Sonic the Hedgehog and the Yakuza franchise. <laughs> oh man. It's going to happen. Like, we're kind of almost at that point. <laughs> Soon there'll be someone asking what a console is. Yeah, but that's that'll be a long while away. I mean, we're certainly getting into away from the distinction between a portable gaming system and a console. Like, I think it's just going to be. I think the concept of, like, a portable gaming system is just going to vanish, and it's just going to be an expectation of a console. I mean, I've already seen stuff, like gestures, you know, changing. Like, the gesture you make to take a photo, if you ask the child to do that now, they will do the action of tapping on a phone screen, as opposed to, like, the clicking of a camera. So, yeah, that, that, that already makes me feel old. Oh, I, I may have made a huge mistake here diving into the water without fighting them. <laughs> you all have phones, don't you? Oh, that old meme. to ice, which... What's the fastest way to get there? I feel like from here, right? Like...
It was hilarious when that was said. Imagine getting booed at your own convention. It's not the first time to happen. I think it's just one of those things that you should never have such hubris where you don't where you don't believe that someone might not like what you've done. You should uh yeah. Read the room. I still stand by that that entire situation could have been avoided. You look at how Bethesda announced uh, the Fallout stuff. So, like, Bethesda, before they showed their mobile game, which was uh, the Fallout, like, shelter thing, before they showed that, they showed... It was just a... It wasn't even a trailer. It was just... They showed... Uh, that the Elder Scrolls 6 were being developed. That's it. It was like, they just brought up the logo on a screen in front of some mountains. People lost their shit. And then they showed a mobile game, and no one said anything. Blizzard, on the other hand, just were like, yeah, let's use the main stage. People have been wanting to know about Diablo 4, which at the time no one had heard, really seen anything from. So, you know, they were like, nah. Let's just show this mobile game and nothing else. It'll be fine. People like Diablo anyway, right? They'll play it on mobile. All they had all they had to do was show a 15 second thing. It could have literally been a black screen and then the text just appears. And it's like bang, Diablo 4. That's it. That's all they had to do. And they didn't, and that's why people got rightfully angry. <laughs> and honestly, what that game ended up being... I don't see it as an overreaction, like... There's usually people that naysay and, you know, they... They kind of doom a little and go for the worst possible scenario. But in this case, they were absolutely correct in every regard, just what that game was going to be. Yeah, Blizzard rely on their cult status, but they've had a, an awakening since then. I think the illusion has been shattered to some degree. There's something there, but I don't know how to get it. Anyway. Sadly, you don't think it has? You'd be surprised. I'm not saying it's gone completely, but I think people are more aware than they used to be. I know a lot of people that were hardcore Blizzard fans, and they acknowledge that, that those days are dead. They still romanticize that, you know, games for their favorite franchise will be good, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's like a human thing. Nostalgia. But at least they acknowledge that. The company is very, very corporate. Did they even announce Diablo 4? No. They, they straight up, like, pretended it didn't exist. Like, their whole mantra was, it's not ready to show, so we can't announce it. Not even by name. So they, they did not show it at all. Diablo's representation was Diablo Immortal. And, you know, they kept saying shit like, oh, we're working on multiple Diablo projects. It's like, then just say what they are. Like, you don't have to show anything. Like, it's just smart marketing. Know your audience. Your audience are PC players. They're going to get upset at a mobile game. You know how you make them not upset? Just show them five seconds with a logo. That confirms that the thing they've been waiting for for the last decade is coming. That's all you needed to do, like... 
I wonder how much the person in charge of marketing at that company was being paid, seriously, because... <laughs> I don't mean to be, you know, that guy that tries to armchair... do armchair work, you know what I mean? Like, being the armchair... Sitting in an armchair. I don't know. You know what? You know my point. It's like an armchair developer, an armchair marketer. But like, surely <laughs> there should have been some like hint that hmm. You know what? Maybe we should show. Maybe we should show this. Even if it's just for fifteen seconds, we should probably show it. Um, I need to go through the north room. Okay, hang on. Didn't I get this? Could have sworn I got this. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, because spider track. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think there's there's a lot of things that could have could have been done differently to prevent that but i mean i think it's up there in terms of like the biggest disaster of like a press conference that i've seen a close second would have to be when microsoft were insistent that uh the xbox 360 needed to have an always online requirement and just all these messed up things with, like, licensing. Constantly checking if you had licensing, and if you wanted to take a game over to a friend's house, they would have to buy a copy. Like, you know, 1990s level of Microsoft just greed. Just how that... That, uh, yeah. <laughs> the backlash on that was so swift. And I just remember Sony's conference afterwards it was it was the best they didn't talk about what they were going to do with the playstation they were going to talk about what they didn't do so pretty much everything microsoft said sony just said yeah we're not doing that and they got a standing ovation <laughs> and the, the dude at the time just had the biggest shit eating grin as he was announcing just, it wasn't really announcing anything just talking about things they weren't going to do and just the round of applause he was getting. And the icing on the cake was this marketing video they released that is how to share games on the PS4. And it was just one person handing a physical copy to another person. It was a 15 second video. <laughs> it's so good. Gotta feel bad for this enemy, because, what, at least T-Rexes have hands? Listen, that enemy started it. I, I am happier to go about this peacefully and not attack the Fauna, but the Fauna wants me dead. So what am I to do? The video seems, wait, preposterous now? It, it is, yeah. There's, there's some things that, uh, they just age like milk, and that, that's one of them. But in a good way. Another great one is, um... If you watch the, the training video for Windows 95... Um, they commissioned Matthew Perry and Jennifer Aniston, because Friends was popular at the time. I mean... Yeah, so... They wrote this cheesy thing where they went and visited Bill Gates' office and it was it was just yeah <laughs> it wasn't great
<laughs> Alright, in terms of other disasters, I'll, I'll give you another one, is like... Microsoft tried to launch, uh... This thing called Microsoft Bob. And it was supposed to be a replacement for the desktop. And it was just, it was terrible. <laughs> The best way I can describe it to you is, like... They did a virtual room, and it was using 2D graphics. So, you know, like, clip art type graphics. So if you wanted to open a program, you would have to click a physical object in the room. And there was an assistant, like Clippy. There was the doggo that then they used in Windows XP. Okay, where am I going from here? I would bet this way. <laughs> Real disasters, Activision buying Blizzard. I mean, a, disa a disaster in the eyes of the fans, not in the eyes of Blizzard Activision, because they made money. Me misplacing the heart in Twilight Princess wasn't that bad. Because I figured it out pretty quickly. Okay, no, this is not cool. Good. No, I, I love getting destroyed against the wall. I need to turn this on. People seem to forget Blizzard were never a good company. They were always run badly. If they weren't bought, they wouldn't exist. I mean, I don't know anything about Blizzard. That's the thing, like, I... I grew up with uh, the NES and the Super Nintendo, and that was my reality of gaming for the longest amount of time. We just did not have a good computer, so... My PC gaming did not start... <laughs> until I bought my own computer when I was, like, 18? Maybe 17. No, no, it would have been 17. So at that point, um, Modern Warfare, like the original one, that was the first PC game that I bought. <laughs> so that's where I started. The first Blizzard game that I played was Diablo 3. So, you know. That's the extent at which I know them. Blizzard was poorly run, but at least they cared. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I think at the end of the day, it's... Hang on. I can't really talk about it. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, I can't really talk about it. Because I don't, I don't know. Like, I can't form an opinion without really knowing, you know? But I'll, I'll trust the judgment of... ...of others. There's also, to some extent, there are, there are people that are rightfully jaded by just larger companies because, you know, the capitalism is strong. <laughs> so there, there might be a bit of that.
I really don't like this area. But I'm going to assume that I'm headed the right way. Oh shit, what if it's not this way? I'm look I'm looking at this now and it's like it kinda makes sense. No, there's there's a nice there's a nice shot. Okay, it's this way. Okay, good. It could be either way, like there could be a spider track. Hang on, I can't read that, like, paragraph of text right now. <laughs> but again, if it's, like, stuff about Activision and Blizzards, like, I don't really know much about it. Let alone keeping track of, like, what, what they've, uh, scrapped. Because I, I just wasn't. I'm not a fan. Am I streaming on Twitch and YouTube? Uh, like currently, simultaneously? No, because we're not allowed. But I released the VODs there. As far as YouTube streams go, it's currently whenever I feel like it on YouTube, on weekends only. Because I haven't quite figured out like what I'm going to do. I don't know if that's an upgrade sound or if that's... If that's just the sound of the Metroid. Um... Yeah, I mean... I was thinking of doing... Because they've done a re... I don't know what to call it. It's, it's a fan remake of uh, Castlevania 2. Kind of like how they... You know, the, the Zelda 2 remake, fan remake thing happened. Apparently this Castlevania 2 one is really good as well. I just haven't made the time. Within Fendara area. Yeah, but... Just... Okay, hang on. I'm pretty sure this is the way to get to it. It's... where am I? So I am here. This area sucks. Okay, okay. Let's just see, so this is... And I imagine it's gonna go up. This has to be the way, anyway. The thing with the YouTube streaming... I, I really want it to work out, I truly do. But the problem is, um, just the way you go live is kind of annoying, but also just getting notifications out to people is equally not great. And even then, like, it's not easy to see who's live compared to Twitch. I think that's the biggest problem with YouTube streaming that they need to fix, is just knowing when someone's live is still... It's a bit of guesswork for the viewer, and that's... it's not great. But I mean, yeah, I, I really do want it to work out over there. It's just... I 
I also don't want it to feel like, oh, no one's watching. Because <laughs> sometimes that's what it feels like on YouTube streaming. Not all the time. But I'll say this. The end goal is just a better viewing experience. And the thing is, the reason I say YouTube's better, it has its own set of issues. But the ads, man. The fact that there are, there are no ads on the live stream, that's the number one reason that I, I, I want it to work over there. Okay, not only do viewers from time to time say, oh, so, I, I, like, there's ads, sorry, can you repeat that? Or uh, they'll just complain about ads, and rightfully so. But also, I've w watched streams lately. And the ads are the ads are out of control. And as streamers, we don't really get that much for them. Talking about like a small streamer, I think for a larger streamer there is incentive now because they are paying a lot more. But for a smaller streamer, it's you're asking a lot for a viewer to put up with, like especially if they're looking for new content to watch. The fact that... Okay. In, I'd say in a half hour period, I got presented with three ads. One when I got there, and then another two after the fact. And having that happen when you're trying to find someone new to watch is just annoying. So people aren't finding new people to watch. They're kind of just sticking with whoever. It's just too much of a hassle. And... You know, at the end of the month, Twitch is like, oh, sorry that... I mean, they're not saying this, but this is how it feels. It feels like, oh, sorry that uh, the ads were so intrusive and hurting your viewership, but don't worry, you made $2 this month. Like, it, it just feels like a slap in the face. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Can I take, turn this off yet? Apparently not. I need to- I need to figure out a better schedule on YouTube. I think I just need to start taking the gamble and just being like, alright, listen. This, uh, like, usual stream time, I'll do it over on YouTube. I kind of wanted to release some content on there before I did that, though, and I'm, I'm working on it. It's just... Such is the struggle of uh, balancing a hobby with life and a full-time job. There's just never enough time. Seems correct. Oh, not this shit again.
Okay. Oh, not this again. Ice. Thank you. Lessons from other Metroid games. This room is definitely scary. I don't want to... You know what? I probably can. Let's just do it. Okay, I got through it. What do you mean it can't be open with that weapon? Okay. This is new. Music though. Once again, on point. Okay, another thing frozen in ice. We. Where is this going? To the cavern south. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I guess I have to fight you. Standing on air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. You know, one thing I, I've been thinking of uh, to kind of improve the visibility on YouTube. And I don't know if this is, like, something that would land me in trouble. But I was thinking of using my laptop, right? To go live on Twitch. But then all you would see would be just, um, some... I was thinking of, like, lining up just some clips that'll play on loop. And then it just says, you know, live on YouTube. That's <laughs> it. So then it's, you know, people that are following on Twitch, it's like, oh, on YouTube. So I'm not technically streaming the same thing to Twitch as YouTube. I think that's the big thing is it's an exclusivity thing. So I can't be playing a game and streaming to both. However, I think that's a loophole. It's just I'm worried that they, someone might see it and be like, oh, no, no, no.
Uh, oh, that's going back. What the f Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, no, no. There's another room over there. What is this? Over there, but that looks like it's only accessible with grappling hook. So that's the way out. Wait, no, there's another door here. What is this? I must have been through here. This is where I fought the thing. Okay. Did I hit a, a dead end? Hang on. Where is, where is the question mark? The question mark is over here. What have I done? That's the elevator. We don't want to take the elevator, right? No, I think I need to keep going that way. Because that's just going backwards. This is the arena where I fought that boss. Okay. I wonder if anyone gets this right the first time when they play this game. Because this is, this is something that once you have the knowledge, then you get better and you play it a lot quicker. But I, I wonder if someone truly can get through this game that quickly on their first playthrough. Right, so according to this, there's two purple doors that I haven't gone through here. But that's the Metroid room. That's the room that I wanted to escape. Hmm. No, maybe not. This isn't the Metroid room. What is this? this. No, it doesn't work. Just fall straight down. Hmm. Well, there is a door above me. I assume I'll have to come back. But 
is that thing? Oh, it's a hunter metroid. It's a metroid. I didn't realize I was a metroid. Magnetic properties. Ice, 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 ice it, ice it. There we go. Man, I really don't like these space pirates. What? Apparently that doesn't work. There we go. <laughs> you love how they just hang there when they're froze, like, fuck you, physics. That makes perfect sense. It's the concept of frozen, so they're frozen in midair. That, that's how it works, right? Wait, that's just going back. Hang on. There's a lower door? Apparently so. This area is certainly a lot bigger than I, I thought it would be. Oh, but these are these are grappling hook points. This music though is so good. Game, please. What is happening? Why? That thing just that had me stuck. Not even sure how. Question mark here. Is 
see something over there. Uh, okay, that's where we're headed. Look at that logo, look at how beautiful that looks. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Nice, that color scheme. Oh, yes! <laughs> there you go. There's the redeem. <laughs> Movement in liquid is no longer hindered, which, going by the name, I don't know. <laughs> there is no better time for an OES than now here. That's the timing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, in the words of Wario from Mario Party, it's time to fuck. Hang on, did I? Yeah, I did, I heard it. Okay. Yeah, but... Hmm. Don't really have a... I don't have grapple beam, so there's no point in worrying about this yet. I, I hate these things. Sometimes I feel the assisted aim just doesn't do a good job. I have not gone through here. What is here? Well, see, now there's, there's so much that kind of gets opened up. What? Just let it go. Where are we going? This just connects the other chamber. Wait, this is where I came from, isn't it? But all that does is connect the room to the other room anyway. I'm pretty sure we're done for this area for now. Like, now it's heading to... I was before. I hear it. I heard it. Don't worry. Yep. Yep. Oh no, that that's fair. Did I get pulled in by this thing from up from below? Wait, 
the other one just disappear because they went in the water? I don't think I can climb. Yeah, this is all grapple hook. Okay. Oh, even the ball is purple now. How is that? How is that missing? Okay, there's to the left high ground. No, but I guess that that's like a grapple thing for sure. Alright, the sound is coming from here. But again, it's it's a frozen lake thing, so there doesn't appear to be a structural weakness to it. this okay there's a way up Oh, it's a save room. Nice. Okay. I am putting in a, a bit of extra effort into this today just because I... Uh, yeah, because the Twilight Princess <laughs> have not really been playing it. Because I wanted to get that done, so... Consider this, like, almost double what I would have played today. Plus, you know, um, tomorrow I don't usually stream. <laughs> I mean... I usually use the time to spend working on content, or at least what I'm working on. But maybe if I'm done earlier, I could do something on YouTube. No promises, but... It was asked about YouTube and... I just need to just finish some some things and then I can kind of give it a more fair try. It's just hard. No, I know. It's just... Just headed now. Am I going around in a circle? I'm heading back, aren't I? I need to go up. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. At least I picked up on it now.
I need to pay attention to here. This is... Where is this pointed at? That'll go... No, but see, that just leads back, so it's up. Ah! Sometimes the jumping is tiring. Okay, it's not this door. This door leads back, so further up. Hold on, I was about to do the same thing again. There we go. Through this door. There we go. Oh, right. Yeah, we're back in this shit. Is there another way out of here? No, there's an elevator. There's an elevator. We're going to that elevator. I don't want to go through that metro room. Really? Again? <laughs> I just wanted to see that up close. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Why did they have to respawn like that? That's what I get. I'm gonna have to climb again. I just, I just thought it was kind of impressive just how close that was. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. these things I truly do what's here Oh, right, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Oh, what? No, I... <laughs> Notice that I was like, hmm, is that anything? I've made a lot of progress today. I mean, more than usual. Uh, it is starting to get to the point where now I'm thinking, okay, what next? But the game hasn't yet shown pity, so if I can find the next area before it shows pity, I'm happy. from this way. Excuse me. Well, we're here. This is pathway I usually take. There it is. I think we can safely say I'm up to this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice auto shot. Missed four times. There we go. Now I should just be able to get that. Feels good to be able to move normally in water. So 
sorry, chat. I was looking at the other screen for a sec. I was checking the time. Oh. <laughs> Mild disorientation, don't worry. for the security system. No security system. Alright, cool. On the bright side, a lot of this is done. You get to hear this music again. Things are so annoying. How does a beam of ice travel in water? Uh, okay. <laughs> Just got stuck. Ah, oh, so nice. Hey! Ah, oh, I missed it. Open up. <laughs> okay. How about I save? How does a beam of ice travel in water? Because fuck you, physics. <laughs> Maybe it's just technology we haven't discovered yet. I mean, this takes place in a reality where technology is, is more advanced. Energy tank lies within a crashed lift. Hmm. Doesn't really say how to get it out, though. Oh, there you go. Well, I mean, that doesn't necessarily solve it, but let's just see. Okay, I need to turn this off temporarily. Scanned it. <laughs> oh, this is so disorienting. This 
that. I wonder if that does anything to the elevator, though. I mean, it doesn't hurt to go check. It's gonna suck to uh, come back up, but you know. Doesn't look like I made a difference. The only thing I can probably just do that. I don't know why, why overcomplicate it. <laughs> why? Just shoot the rocket. <laughs> Some, sometimes it's that simple. I've said this multiple times, chat, but like, I blame the original Legend of Zelda for that. Because that game taught me how to solve convoluted things, but at the same time, when it's really simple, something really simple, I'll overlook the simple thing because I think it's convoluted, and it's just, it's a gift and a curse. Because when it's a, it's something convoluted, it's cool. I, I find a way to do it. Pretty straightforward. Or I'll find a shortcut or something. Or I glitch the game. Whatever, like... That's what happens. But when it's something simple like that, it's the worst. my hearing. I'm hearing something. Alright, just don't worry about it for now. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Another sent another sentry drone. Sounds like it's close. Here, I can see it. Probably hit it from here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there.
Ja. Was ready. What I need to do is just do it point blank in their face. So then there's just no chance that they dodge it. Looks like a pretty big room. Okay, hang on. Doesn't look like I can climb it much, it's just visually big. Burst when subjected to trauma or impact. Okay. Oh, that's quite the jump. Is that even possible to do? Maybe. It seems like it is. Shit, I had it. Yeah, it's just timing. I can't believe I had it and I didn't I didn't get it. How did I d There we go. Something like that. Just before the apex. <sighs> Nearly. Nice. That's how you jump. All right. Damn, I've like more than doubled my health. The stream. Oh, we're underneath the tree now. Yeah, I know where this is. I wonder if we can... Like, somehow... 
Merge the two rooms? I don't know. Let's go in this room first. Okay. What am I doing? Phase on mines. Okay, let's not go there just yet. That is indeed the next area. Yes, yes, I know. I would just love to, uh, first of all, see what this room is. Oh, apparently not what? Not allowed? No. It's, I missed the step. Did I just- I think I've just connected the two together. What is this room here? Yeah, no, this is where I came to the first time. I recognize it. Uh... In that case... Yeah, there's nothing else to do here. This, this is either like, yep, this is what's supposed to happen, or, hey, pay attention to the warning. <laughs> yes, let's head towards the radiation. Excellent idea. Phase on mines. Okay. 
that's a, that's a first. <laughs> Never had to open a save room before. Okay, chat. Well, I would love to keep playing, but uh, it is it is late, and I need to get some rest for our work tomorrow. But I hope you did enjoy the stream, especially if you're new around here. Thanks for popping in. Uh, so I don't usually stream tomorrow. That's my day of the week that I take off typically. But maybe once I'm done with stuff, I might do something on YouTube. So in the meantime, if you want to watch more of my content, uh, yeah, just search on YouTube. I got three channels, one that has the vast majority of my past streams, another one with highlights, and then one where every now and then I'll go live on YouTube. So have a look, or you can go to shambles.gg and get links to everything I do on the internet there. But otherwise, I do hope you have a good rest of your day. And uh, I will be back on Twitch here, not tomorrow, but the day after. And we'll do more Phantom Hourglass and uh, more of this. So, hope you join me for that. <laughs>